Okay, you're going to create three versions of your logo. And as you see from the example, you need to have a title, a background image, or rather a background shape, and an image uh, to go in front. So you can see all these have titles, a shape, and a image. So I'm going to show you um, how to do that in Publisher. The best way you can just go down in your search. It's also under Microsoft. So if you click down here and go underneath M's, you can find Microsoft and Publisher, or just type in Publisher and then double click to open. I already have it open, so we're going to go there. And when you start this, do do File New, and then click uh, click on a blank document. Um, once you have it open, you are going to create your first logo. So first you want to use word art so I would go to insert on the menu bar all these are menu bars and then uh, you get other choices below that's why it's called the menu bar um, click on insert and then word art and then pick a word art so we're gonna kinda go um, they don't have it actually they just have bottom and top let's try with a actual circle around it so we're gonna do word art and then type in Chuck Wallace as we are a team and should be plural and you get this nice circular round word that says Chuck Wallace that fills the whole thing and we'll, we'll talk about how we're gonna fill and shape outline and do all that but let's get our picture and our image first if you not how, know how to search for an image look on the other link in this assignment and I teach you how to search for a transparent image so you can stop here and go ahead and, and watch that video um, and after you're done come back and finish up with the logo so we're now going to insert our picture that we saved and as I talked to earlier there was one that was transparent and you can see this one covers and one that was not so this has that white blank background we don't want that one. We want the one where we actually search for a transparent part to it. You can see now there's nothing, there's no white space into the uh, square of the shape that it was saved in. So, because it was transparent. So, after we do that, we are going to insert a shape. So, if you go to the menu bar on insert, and we're going to do shapes, and you get multiple shapes. Uh, you can do a lightning, a heart, some kind of star. Let's try this star. All right. You can always search for shapes online if you don't like any of them. You can see we kind of have three random colors and they're all in the wrong order. They were placed, uh, how they were placed is the order they appear. So the last one I got was the shape, which actually should be the back one. So if I send it to the back, it'll go all the way behind all three of them. Um, but you can see maybe I don't like the color, maybe I want to match some of this, so maybe I want to match the outline so right now I have that star since I have that star selected I'm in the shape format for the star so if I do outline and I actually use my Doppler or eyedropper I guess you call that, not Doppler uh, you, you can click on a color of, of any shape and it will change my since I was on the outline it'll actually change the outline of the shape that I click on. So let's fill this Chuckwalla word. So again, since I clicked on the word Chuckwalla, it goes to format. Now I'm on the format of my shape. Um, and actually, I lied. I'm actually on the, on the, the shape itself. So I want to be on the word Chuckwalla. So if I click on that, double click on it, and right now I have a, a outline um, and a fill choice so let's go ahead and use something similar so let's maybe I'm going to use the shape fill of this and do the sampler and I click on that let's see how that looks maybe not gonna work right maybe I should switch this maybe I should switch the fill to more of an orange like I said we should have probably three colors and then I can do the outline which I have that um, of a darker color and maybe I want to weight that 
outside color a little bit more so you it, you really matches better with the logo all right once I have them I'm gonna align those so let's line them center so that one's selected I can select the next one by holding shift to get multiple selections so now I have two selected now I'm gonna select the back shape so now you can see I have one two three selected I'm gonna line those center and now if I move them since they're all selected they move together and they're completely aligned center maybe I want to play with that background a little bit um, and change it to make a larger size um, I can change that around to make it a little bit better but that's basically a logo when you're do done with this we are gonna place this in Word so file save as um, let's go to our logo I'm gonna go back to our image files so let's go to documents images for logo and this is we'll call this finished logo I can save it as a publisher file which is probably a good idea so I have a version of one that's actually something I can come back and change because I saved it as a publisher file what we should also do is save as and save this as an image file a JPEG and it's called finished logo and JPEG so now the final thing you need to do is insert three of these in, into Word so you need to insert picture and let's go back to documents images for logo and you can say I have my JPEG file you can't see the uh, publisher file I saved because I just have picture files and those are usually JPEGs and stuff like that if I do all files you can actually see my finished logo my publisher file in that same folder and since I'm on picture I'm only seeing images that are saved in image files like JPEGs and GIFs and, and things like that so this is a dot JPG or JPEG so it's an image file I can insert that a little bit big because I want to do three of them so I'm going to click that corner and drag it and make it smaller it doesn't move around because of my wrap text if I wrap text and go to through or in front or any of that I'll be able to move it so if I do through so now I can move it around a little bit alright so once you have three on a document you can file and save this document and save it to somewhere where you can remember where it's at so documents and maybe this you create a new folder for um, technology work and this is my logo assignment so I'm going to save this as logo assignment alright so my last technology work logo assignment and then upload it into your classroom for this assignment and that's it